and welcome back to the channel. And actually, Happy New Year. This is the first video of 2022, so I hope you all had a brilliant Christmas and amazing New Year. And I've been out riding so much because just peer out here, I don't know if it will bleach it, but that, that sky is what we've had for probably the past 10 days or so. Nothing but blue skies, about 26, 27 degrees. It's been incredible. And I found the biking spot in Tenerife where all of the bikers meet up for coffees and things like that. I went out for a ride with a few locals and we found the spot and they're all there. It's going up to Tede. I don't know if they're gonna be there today because I don't know how it works in Tenerife, but I'm gonna take Monica along and see what we can find. And this, I was so happy with this. I wanted to show you this. It's the Ryden Sons Arrow Jacket. You get it from xlmoto.com.co.uk. It's free shipping on all orders over 50 euros or 50 pounds. And I honestly, hand on heart, think this is one of the absolute best winter, wet weather, all season really, riding jackets that I've ever seen. Absolutely classically designed. This, you may not be able to see, this is wax cotton. And apologies if I'm about to start sweating here because it's really warm and I've got this on. But this is 100% cotton, wax cotton outer. It is a superbly well-designed jacket. I was honestly, I promise you, blown away by this. It's 265 pounds sterling. They will make sure that you're okay with all the import duties now Brexit's here, etc., etc. If you're in Europe, no issue at all. But it is beautiful. It's got removable lining. It's, well, it looks like it's straight out of the 1960s. Unfortunately, I cannot tell you what it's like in the cold weather because I just don't think I have the chance to do that. It's 265 pounds for jacket this nice. I'm six foot one, 80 kilos. This is a size large. Yeah, I think it's good. I think it's the perfect size. Really easy to live with as well. Four big pockets, Ryden Sons logo there, which I think is actually an American company, but just wanted to show you it. I'm actually gonna take the, the thermal lining out because I'm suffering with heat at the moment. So <laughs> we'll take that out, we'll go downstairs. Please, please let there be a good selection of bikes at this first stop. Okay, we've just arrived. Actually, the turnout is way, way bigger than I thought it'd be. So I'm gonna take the camera off Monica and I'm going to do as much of a tour around all of these bikes as I can to give you the best impression, but we're so lucky today. We've picked the best day. Eclectic choice of bikes, massive amount of them. Monica, pass it over. It's actually genuinely hard parking up here. So I've just kind of left the Bonneville here, but let's start with this. Not sure what it is, but I like it. Moving over to a Suzuki, we've got one of my favorite bikes, Harley Davidson Street Bob. Oh, that is Easy Rider Tenerife. I'm sure that's Easy Rider Tenerife's Harley. I recognize that one. So Street Bob, uh, T-Max there, BMW kind of maxi scooter, Honda there. I think that's another Honda maxi scooter. Then we've got some Japanese super bikes, R1. I think that's another R1, Aprilia there. Kawasaki Ninja. Ooh, that's a nice one. This is a Triumph, Triumph Street. 
That's the Trans Street Triple, actually. Very nice, I like those. A few absolute weapons here. And Aprilia's, that is a serious bike. Again, some really serious bikes here. BMW, Yamaha there. Coming around here, you can see everyone just grabbing a coffee in this place, sitting down, having coffees, chilling out. Wow, Honda VFR 750, Suzuki, I think, Gladius, Harley 750, Honda, but on BMW 650, Triumph, that's a nice one. That is a, this one's 25 years old. Good bike, very nice, very nice. So that's, just, I don't even know if I've seen one of those, 650F Triumph Street Triple. Oh, these are nice. That's a Duke 390. Don't see too many of those ones. And this is the first one I've ever seen, not in the showroom. MV Augusta Brutale. That's a very, very, very special bike. Yamaha R6. BMW. F800R, Ducati Monster. That looks like, oh, that's a Honda. Old Honda, that one. Tenerife plate as well, been here a lot of years, that one. GSX, Honda, CBR, MT09, Yamaha, oh, I can't remember, another Yamaha. What's that, that's gotta be a, ooh. Oh, that's an Aprilia, I was about to say KTM Aprilia. Honda. Honda Fireblade, very, very nice. GSR, here we go, finally, I don't see many of these here. Ducati Scrambler, great to see one of those. And a Kawasaki, and finally, what's this, a Gladius or something, I think. Yeah, must be. Well, that is an unbelievable selection of bikes. What a way to spend a Sunday just with so many bikers. I'm about to go and get a coffee with Monica. You can just see everyone parked up. It is a playground. For adults here. So lucky. We got here at about 11.30 when everyone stops for a coffee, grabs a cake and then heads off into the mountains. And the last few of the bikes are heading off now because it was packed to the brim when we got here. Now you see all the sports bikes heading off and things. There aren't many left now. So I think it's very much a morning stop off point here. But the buzz, the atmosphere, the different types of bikers from Harleys to super sports. It is so, so fun being around here. And the Tenerife and the bikers have a lovely bunch, absolutely lovely bunch. And they are motorbike crazy here. And when you've got a day like today, blue skies with this stunning scenery around. Ah, oh. and I can't believe it now, probably 25 minutes after we left, it's, it's just Monica and I. I, I can't believe how lucky we were. If we'd have come an hour later, we'd have got here and thought, where, where are the bikers? Like, they just, they all head off very quickly and we well, can't hang around here. It's just too incredible with all the roads. You just want to hit the road and, oh, it's so nice. They've also got, we didn't get anything today, not for any good reason, I've just eaten, but they've got a, a nice selection actually of food. It's a proper restaurant side and there's a terrace right there. And you can see all of the bikers sitting there with their helmets on the side and stuff. And just behind her, I think is one of, one of, if not the tallest tree in Tenerife. And that terrace there should have an exact view of a deep valley below. So it's a really nice spot on both sides. And we're right now in the, the inside of a horseshoe type bend. So it goes from there all the way around there and then back up into the mountains again. So great to see a Triumph Street Triple here. You really don't see many of those here. Seeing my bike parked up next to all of those weapons, it looks ridiculously basic, almost embarrassingly so.
take it too far Now I dwell in the sand like a fish on land Like a fish on land This is biking heaven. I don't think there's anywhere finer in the entire world for motorcyclists. I really don't. On a day like today, a Sunday lunchtime, it is biking heaven. I it's just in and January. That's it. I think it's the second of January now. It's 27 degrees. It's a playground for motorcyclists. It's not just that the scenery is so mind-blowingly spectacular. The roads are like racetracks. They're so smooth. And everywhere on this island is within one hour of each other. You can be right at the top of the volcano El Tede. Right now, we're almost two kilometers high and it's still t-shirt weather. I can be on the beach swimming in an hour. And look at this. That is La Gomera, the island with a population of 20,000 people. And it's so clear today that behind it, you can clearly see El Hierro, the very, very last of the Canaries on, I think if I'm right, the far, I think the far west, apologies if I'm wrong, that has a population of just 10,000. When we get round to the other side of the island, we're going to see in full view La Palma, where the volcano is just erupting. So we should in one day probably see including Tenerife, five of the eight Canarian Islands. just pulled over because we've got La Palma in clear sight. But Monica, if you just flip round, that, I'm right, that's Tede, isn't it? That's El Tede, it's just so clear today. Everything looks so close. And just in front of us, okay, follow me, Monica, walk with me. Because we can see three, three islands. We may even be able to see four. We've got La Palma, which you can tell because it's kind of got two peaks, whereas most of the others look like they're just one peak. So that, that's La Palma right there. And apparently you could easily see in clear sight when the volcano was erupting, the, uh, all of the smoke bellowing out of the volcano, even though it's the other side of the island of La Palma, I think it was still clearly visible from here. Wow. So beautiful. I was wondering if actually we'd be able to see Gran Canaria, but I think it would just be around that side of the, the mountains here. So Gran Canaria right over there. La Palma, La Gomera, El Hierro right behind it. Probably the clearest you will ever see it from here. What I wanted to say, we are two kilometers high now. 
and you get a good idea on perspective because I think the highest point on La Gomera is one and a half kilometers. So here we're probably about half a kilometer higher than the highest point of La Gomera. And you can see right on the top of La Gomera, that's where the rainforest is. All the way along the top bit there, you can just pick out, I think that's the capital of La Gomera, which is right in the bottom left-hand corner. You can even, it's so clear on La Palma, you can even pick out the towns right along the coast at the bottom of the island. I took the lining out of this Ryden Sun's jacket and I, my guess is it will be about, it's probably about 17 degrees up here and you, so you really don't need the liner. It's absolutely perfect for this type of weather and I really do feel, hand on heart, this is actually now one of my favourite jackets. I absolutely love it. It's comfortable, it's stylish, it's got this waistband in the middle so you know you can pull it in as well and it kind of, it's just a nice slim fit. I'm a, I'm a huge fan of this. It's the first time I think with Ryden Sons I've seen them make a jacket like this and they've absolutely smashed it. So we've got canary and potatoes, a couple of vegetable soups and some mushrooms. So I think it's about 2.30, almost 2 o'clock and we haven't eaten all day. So we're going to tuck into this and it's a perfect spot to end. I don't think you can see it, but I'm looking right now at a brilliant view over there of La Gomera. But we didn't realize how busy this place would be. It's got a superb view. Thank you so much over the past year for all of the, the comments, the likes, and just watching the video. We, we read everything, all of the comments, and we appreciate every single like. So thank you so, so much, all of you, for all of the support. But we'll wrap it up there. Today has been just about the most fun I could possibly ever dream of having. It's been incredible. Beautiful weather, unbelievable scenery, hundreds of bikers out. It's just impossible to have a better time. So thank you so much for coming along with us. See you in the next one.